Ever wonder what a Corsair wing looks like when you take a ton of Gorilla Tape off of it? It looks like this. Dun, 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 dun. So, that's the Gorilla Wing with no tape on it no more. And this is the paint test. What I have done is on this side here. I have painted it with Tamiya Mother of Pearl. Sorry, take that back. Tamiya White Primer. And uh, the bumping that you can see is just from the leftover styrofoam. I should have, like, you know, shaved it or something, eh? But, you know what I mean? I didn't really care. You know, I just wanted to check. And, you know, it's 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 not chewing it up. It's not doing anything to it. I mean, it's it's not tacky. It's, like, obviously because it's dry. It's not tacky because it's dry. Nothing on the center. And then on this side, I'm actually using Dupla Color. The hell is that stuff? It's actually a gray primer for cars. Like, so it's a steel primer, right? Like a metal primer. And, like, that's not doing nothing either. I mean, that there's nothing wrong with that foam. All right? So what I'm going to do now is on this side, I'm going to use a couple different colors. I'm going to paint a section with, you know, like testers and this and that, and this here and that there, and even a section of just straight testers gloss, just straight gloss, just to see if you could paint it directly onto the uh, original color of the plane, just to, you know, paint the whole plane with gloss shiny, all right, whatever. So yeah, uh, this is part one of my, taint, my paint test. Hello, folks. Although you might not recognize it, this is the Gorilla Tape Corsair wing. I would stripped all the tape off and was going to use it for paint testing, and I have. Um, I should have, I never thought how to clean it up, and I, I wish I had, but there's bubbly little areas like you can see right here. I don't know how we can see it yet, but that's still the residue from tape and everything else. Um, I can prove that in a minute, and I'll show you in a second. Uh, on this side of the wing, what I have done is, from this side of the fuselage this way, I used the stuff called Duplo. It's a metal primer for cars. I wanted to actually do damage. I wanted to see what a, a, a heavyweight primer would do. And it actually didn't do nothing. <laughs> I mean, it did what it was supposed to do. It filled the gaps and painted the fuselage. It's primer. It did what it did. It didn't even chew it up, you know, in the soft edges. You know what I mean? Nice. All right. Now, on this side, I used a, a Tamiya's white primer. And again... You know, and this is the section where there was uh, paint on, there, there, there was tape here, remember, it peeled off. And even though there was tape in these areas too, this area gives you the best idea. Like, this, there's no chew there, there's nothing chewed up, all right? So that leads me to believe that this flakiness was just residue from, you know, tearing half a piece of styrofoam off and not having enough sense to peel the rest off, all right, when I was cleaning it up. Um, on this side here, there is no undercoating at all. It's just the paint onto the white, okay? And then on this side again, paint on the white, but this side has a clear gloss coat over it, okay? This is trying to give you an idea of, you know, different paint variances, okay? Um, so we're going to start with this one right here. This is uh, Tester's Yellow and to me is Silver. Just one company, another company. There is no chewing on the edges from the paint or anything else. Same with this one here. Now you'll note here that that looks a lot different. The surface on here is the original surface that was still on the wing. All right, that's the original covering. And if you look at that, the original covering, now right, right this exact line right here, that's where hinge tape was or is, okay, or could be. That was probably Gorilla Tape. There's hinge tape right there. But right there, you can see that. It's actually quite nice, uniform, no damage. You can tell right away that you can paint this with a Tamiya Silver and not even look at it. Just right on the paste, right on the original paint, and it'll just go silver, done. Uh, if you try to do Tamiya, or sorry, if you try to do Tester's Yellow, for instance, um, you can see the bleed through, you'll do multiple coats, but again, there's no damage, okay? Now we'll look on this side here, this again, same idea, uh, uh, testers and Tamiya, but this has got the testers clear coat over all of it, two passes, all the way down, all the way up. Each layer of paint is one pass down, one pass up, no multiple layers or nothing. Again, now, on this side you can see how the gloss coat really makes it shine, all right? Now, there's, right here is the only place where there's still proper paint and our proper body and right here, and you can see again, no damage with the clear coat at all. So, at this point, we're saying that a tester's paint, uh, Tamiya paint, and tester's clear coat appear to be very sta very stable, all right? And by flipping it over, we're also proving that Duplo metal primer is stable. Tamiya white is stable. Now, this is where it starts getting fun, okay? Again, the yellow, the bubbles you see, again, are from where the paint had peeled stuff off. But, again, there's no chewing is the key we're looking for. There's no chewing. Again, here now, if you look, same, same. You'll still have to put two coats on. It actually seems to enforce the styrofoam somewhat too, all right? Um, and this one here, again, uh, you can see where I kind of missed the section here, but again, this has uh, gray metal primer and silver, and that looks very sharp, and it kind of gives you a kind of a neat gunmetal look. 
and then if you took the gray primer by itself, oh, pardon me, and this has clear coat all the way across it, my bad, this also has the clear coat on top of it. Uh, right here is just the primer with clear coat, and that kind of gives you a nice gunmetal color, I kind of like that to be a little sharper. We flip over one last section to look at, again, clear coat top to bottom, to me a base coat is, uh, to me a white uh, primer, but what I want you to check out is that right there. Look how that to me a white primer made that beautiful. That was, uh, again, that's the original skin on the Corsair, factory weighing skin, right? Look at that, that is phenomenal, right there. So, you want shiny, you go with the clear coat after the fact. But if you want to just paint your wing as it sits with no damage, buy it out of the shop, shop. I would personally recommend, because I'm liking bright, the Tamiya white primer with a Tamiya paint or even a Testers paint. But as you can see, the Tamiya gives you substantially better coverage in this aspect, but it's also a color thing. But you got good coverage with the yellow as well. You know, you, you, know, you, you can get away with one silver, you'd have to go two yellow, big deal. All right, it's not gonna weigh the paint down. But there you go. So you guys who are always wondering what kind of paints you can use, you can use good old fashioned Tamiya, good old fashioned testers, good old fashioned Duplo car metal primer on the paint or on the strip side of your Z foam wing. I'd assume any Z foam, any paint. You might say talk is cheap. You know what, sometimes it is. So what you're gonna see here is uh, once I get my Aileron servos in, cut my flaps and my flaps thing there, you'll probably see that one. My DSR 30s, I'm going to mount, this is a Super Cub battery cover with a Q port, or X port uh, piece on it. Uh, I'm going to mount that right there. And you might say, well, why are you doing that, Scooter? Well, because I talked to John Cunningham out of Texas, and I picked up his uh, Easy X ports, which allow you to hook up like the bomb drop module, the Sonic Combat module out of Hobby Zone to your regular park flyer. Your kids love this, man. You put a couple of bombs, I put a parachuter in there, you lock it in, you fly, you drop the bombs, the kids have fun, they go chase that stuff, you fly, you land, you load it up, you do it again, have a great time, have a great time. So anyway, once everything's mounted and I've got everything secured to fiberglass and it's perfect, I'm gonna hit it with a coat of the Tamiya white primer, then whatever color suits my fancy. And I'll show you that action when I'm all done. I'll show you that once it's done before primer, I'll probably show you after primer, and I'll show you after one or two coats of paint. So stay tuned, watch for video number two in this series. All right, thanks for watching this one. Enjoy, fly safe.